Okay, so you clicked on the link, and now you're wondering why you should watch and subscribe to another YouTube channel. Because <laughs> it's gonna be fun. <laughs> and at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you the meaning of life. Hey, I'm Gary Moyers, and this is the first episode of Worship and Tech. Thanks for joining me. You know, it's a, it's a new year, it's time for new beginnings. Last year, my New Year's resolution was to lose some weight. 50 pounds down, baby, boom, did that. I just gotta, I just gotta keep it off now. Uh, so I guess, I guess you could say this is my New Year's resolution. Uh, I don't know, is resolution a good word? Maybe d determination? I don't know. Maybe motion. How about recommendation? I, I don't know. Resolution just seems like it's a strong word. I'm just, I'm looking up, it's rhyme zone. I'm just looking up words. So whether you call this thing a New Year's resolution or whatever, I don't know. Uh, I'm just glad to have a chance to do this. I've had a lot of experiences over the year. Some of them good, most of them good actually. Uh, God has led me through a lot of neat stuff. And I just wanna be able to share some of that, some of the experience I've gained out of that. Uh, let me just say from the outset that this, this uh, worship and tech uh, channel would be geared towards a cappella churches, um, Churches of Christ, uh, Mennonite, Primitive Baptist, Seventh day Adventist. But you know, the concepts behind worship teams, worship in general, and, uh, and technology, that'll transfer over to almost any church. So uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be talking about uh, a wide range of things, all loosely connected, like how to start and grow a worship team, auditions. Do I really need to audition people? What about team members who are, who are pitchy? Ugh. Worship planning, that's a big topic and lots of different opinions on how that needs to happen. What about training for your worship teams, for your praise teams? Do they really need to be trained? What about uh, burnout? You know, burnout for not only for worship leaders, but for the teams in general. How do you handle burnout? Because it does happen. What is a worship leader's job description? You know, you talk about technology. Uh, what about training for your audiovisual teams? How much tech can I buy and get away with for next to nothing? Because my budget is zero. How do I make my stream look and sound better? You know, that's a big one right now. I might even jump around and do some other stuff, even more loosely connected to worship and technology. For instance, I now have access to a drone. So I might be doing some drone footage. I mean, <laughs> this is West Texas and it's, it's kind of flat. There's not a lot to drone on, uh, but you'd be surprised. There's some really nice canyons around here. Uh, we might do some live music. I mean, who knows what will happen on this channel. So please comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see. We're, I'm here to serve, okay? So communicate, let's talk. Tell me what you want to see. Uh, also, please hit subscribe. That'll help this channel out a whole lot and it'll let you be able to see when I have something new come up in your in your feed. If you will, hit the notification bell along with that. If I do post something new weekly on whatever, uh, it'll hit you immediately. You'll know it by email or text, however you choose. So thanks for joining us. Uh, it's gonna be a fun experiment to go forward on this. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to it. And now, like I said, I'm gonna share one more thing with you. I've been thinking about this long and hard, uh, about the meaning of life. And so here it is. The meaning of life is forever. See, who's calling me? I knew it would happen. Hello?